17 miles west of Portland, Oregon, is the town Damascus. Home to about 10,000 people, it is known for its tight-knit community and farm life. But Damascus holds something unusual, something that has brought a lot of attention to this town. This is Oculus Anubis. Oculus Anubis is an eerie entrance to a residence in Damascus. This gate has been titled the creepiest place in Oregon and a cult gathering site. The property is rumored to have around $2 million worth in underground tunnels. These theories have brought a lot of curious viewers, especially during Halloween time. I'm going to talk to some of the locals here in Damascus to get their view of the gate. Okay. Have you ever been to Oculus Anubis? I have. Up here? And what is your opinion on it? I mean, it's kind of creepy, but it's cool. I had a best friend that lived right by it, so we were there pretty often. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's definitely talked about. Do you think uh, it's like a cult? I've never really thought much about it, honestly. Um, I mean, no, not necessarily. Yeah. Kind of like a cool place that, yeah to hang out and go look so but his wife is from egypt oh really i didn't know yeah that. his wife's from egypt and then he really loved it so he made all that stuff i've actually been there in there inside yeah and did they you have like, like a kid's playground and stuff okay did you like yeah. sneak in or he's not yeah my friends were neighbors with him it's creepy yeah it's just fun to go down there okay you know yeah there's you been up there before? i've actually never been there because okay. i've I heard a lot of bad stories about people that go there. That? Oculus Anubis? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well we just went that night to like check it out and like the the like big statue wasn't lit up or anything, so it wasn't as creepy. But no, it's just like ominous and it's super weird how it's in like a super kind of like you're with a bunch of houses and then all of a sudden it's there. It's hard to tell which internet theories are true and false of what lies beyond the gate. There are security cameras, many no trespassing signs, so it was clear we were not going to sneak in. We do know that the owner is an Anthony Neal, but there is no direct way of contacting Anthony. I'm going to try to talk to some neighbors to see if they can give us any information, but I can assume it is a very beaten and bothersome path for people to ask questions in this neighborhood. Hello ma'am, how are you doing today? Um, we're doing a short uh, documentary. Um, okay. I don't have a lot of time, but that's fine. Sure. Um, so, how long have you lived in this area? Um, over 20 years. And do you know the owner of that gate? Mm, not really. And there's been a lot of people that have come to, like, take pictures yeah, of it. Yeah, they've annoyed the neighborhood a lot, yeah. yeah. And I don't know if it's due to him. Um, okay. And so we resent him a lot for really? bringing this to the neighborhood because well, kids freak out and they middle of the night honking their horns and waking the family up and yeah we didn't move out here for that and again just nothing suspicious other than just the kids coming in here and you know honking their horns well no I, I i can't really speak for that you can look and see what's been posted by the courts mm -hmm. general like a, a a nuisance in your neighborhood it's a se. nuisance yeah okay. i didn't quite know what she meant about the courts so after a little more research I discovered that Anthony Neal and his recently deceased father, Dean Neal, owned an eye care clinic in Gresham. It turns out that Anthony and his father stole over $2.5 million from the government. They defrauded Medicaid and other health care plans, as well as conspiring to defraud the IRS. The court statement says the Neals required patients to be put through costly diagnostic tests even if they didn't need them. They established an Oculus Incorporated as a financial account where they directed the majority of their revenue, including fraudulent money. They then used that account to pay for substantial personal expenses. Apart from statues and tunnels, it turns out the Neals were hiding more. The next step would be to attend Anthony Neal's sentence hearing on the 4th of January. I will be there as I intend to find out more about the scandal and to find out more about what is beyond that gate. 